welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be talking about the use of MPHC organization brands by media companies and how it affects basically the brands of the organizations as well as how it's interpreted by society. In today's video, we have a very special guest. We have Corey Jones here. I have him on the live call and we're just going to talk about it for you guys. So if you're interested in this type of topic, then keep watching this video. So everyone, we have the one, the only, the legendary Corey Jones here. Back at it. Back at it. Corey said he wasn't doing any fraternity or sorority videos anymore, but look at here. Look at, look at here. All it takes <laughs> is a call. <laughs> <laughs> It only takes a call for Kelsey. It don't take you right for me, just for me. But I appreciate you for coming on and talking about this uh, very interesting topic of discussion today because we we don't usually you know we don't usually get involved in lawsuits or things like that with organizations. It has to be something really really serious, which we'll get into in a little bit, you guys. But. With today's topic, we're going to be talking about what's going on with the AKAs and wearing their letters and just for Greek life in general, what happens when people outside the organization decide to pretend, we'll say, <laughs> and our common thoughts on things like that. So for those of you who don't know, um, it's, I, I get her name wrong, but Issa Rae, Issa Rae, Issa Rae, yeah, yeah, Issa Rae, Issa Rae uh, has a show. On television right now and with the show because i'm trying i'm trying not to like incriminate things but on y'all know y'all can look it up but on the show they have a character who's an actress who is portraying a member of alpha kappa alpha sorority incorporated and it became a huge deal because the actress as she stated on her social media is actually not a member of the organization she's playing a character but it became an issue because again a character, not a real person, wearing black Greek letter or black Greek letter organizations, colors and the badge and logos. So it became an issue online to the point where Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority is probably going to sue, if not there be some sort of lawsuit related to using their brand for this type of. I don't want to say clout, but for this type of representation on television. And it's not an uncommon thing that occurs. We've seen what happened with Chris Brown and his music video and uh, Best Man Holiday with Morris Chestnut throwing up the hook. So it's a common issue that sometimes organizations will address it and sometimes they won't. So, Corey, what are your thoughts on the whole situation where you have actors portraying to be members of Greek life? Oh, man. I think, um, I don't know, I think the, the younger me would have been like, man, what they doing? Why they doing this? And they shouldn't be doing that and blah, blah, blah. But as I got older and like an older member of Greek life, I understand the difference between acting and the difference between truly trying to portray it. So um, I honestly think that it should be, it should be, it should be looked at in two ways. For one, like when we think about like back in the day, we used to have Greek representation on a different world. I've seen it on Sister Sister. Like we had like real Greek representation, and it wasn't like portraying any bad things about MPHC. It actually, to me, was giving like light into college life and possibly want to pursue that once you get to college. Like you would know about Sigmas and you know everybody before you even get to college because you've seen it on TV. People stepping, strolling, and doing this on these shows. Um, so for me, I think that I, I actually like seeing our organizations in movies or being portrayed in shows. Now, when it comes to like not acting and somebody's out here walking around trying to portray the organization and things of that nature, then that's when it becomes a problem to me. But like if it's actually in a show or a movie, I think that is I think it should be looked at in a different view as long as they get approval by the organization. Now, if they didn't reach out to headquarters, get approval or signature then then that's i feel like that's the problem so i don't know if you know Issa Rae them did that or not if they decided to reach out to the aks and be like hey we're going to do this this is okay if we make this character an aka and portray these letters and things like that i don't know but if they didn't then i could see why that's definitely a problem for sure yeah that's, yeah i agree to me i think 
it, it sounds like they didn't ask for permission um, because from what I was reading in the news, uh, Alpha Kappa Alpha released a statement, or at least their director did, about them having an issue with, and I don't think this is the first time, but people using the brand for their own use without consulting the organization first. I'm with Corey. I'm not saying whether they did or didn't. We don't know. We're not in those organizations. These are just our perspectives. But from the verbiage of the uh, letter that was online, and I didn't read the whole letter, y'all. This is literally just a snippet from what they put in the press because I don't, we don't read. I feel like I got to put a disclaimer out. <laughs> I don't get involved in other people's like information like that. But from the statement that was released to the press, they stated that um, it was an issue because it sounded like they hadn't been consulted previously. For me, as a member of a sorority, um, I I kind of agree with what you're saying about loving to see the organizations on television shows. Because I remember seeing S.G. Rowe on Different World all the time. And I was just, it sparked curiosity in me. Same thing with AKAs and Deltas and things like that. But now that I'm in an organization... Personally, I do kind of get offended when I do see people not in the organization representing the organization, um, mainly because of my own personal experience of joining my organization. I feel like it was something that I earned, something that I pursued, and you have to, in a in a way, it's like elite in a way where I I feel proud to have going through the process of joining this organization. These are my letters. These are my colors. And I get real offended. I get offended when I see Deltas and AKAs were blue and gold. I'm like, what? those aren't your, those aren't your colors. And maybe that's just me as a female. Cause you know, guys are a little more laid back to that kind of thing. Me, I'm a little territorial. So I would, I kind of would kind of take the stance of what, what y'all doing in that kind of sense. But I do see your point of, if it, they had like prior permission or if it was okay with the organization, sure, by all means, show, shed light on those organizations so that other people can see that. But at the same time, kind of like playing devil's advocate, there's other ways that you can bring um, information to people without copying or mimicking. And I, I think of Stump the Yard when I think of situations like that, where right. they kind of had the letters, they kind of had the colors but they were different organizations all together. But you still got a gist of what it's supposed to be without naming that organization or without using that organization's brand. That's true. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that too. I feel like in, in that situation, they probably could have just used the colors and not have the actual seal on the- How did they get the seal? <laughs> so I feel like that's where it really took like, so that's when it really tra- caused like controversy because the seal and everything but um, yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Like, I don't, I don't think. I think for me, like, I feel like the show. Maybe if it was another show, I would probably be like, eh. But I feel like the show really highlights like black culture, right? You know? so right. I feel like they wanted to do that to make sure that true black culture is shown in the actual show to make it as authentic as possible. So I think that's why they wanted to actually actually have it in there. But I mean. <laughs> I hope they they know what consequences could possibly come after that if they didn't get that that approval. So we we'll see. But um, judging off of the, I think her name was Amanda Amanda Seals. Yeah, mm-hmm. Amanda Seals. Amanda Seals. Judging, but judging by what she said, she understand like she's not a member. She understand that you know people could take it that way. But she, like she said, she's just an actor. Like, right. She just doing. What she didn't she, create it. Don't yeah, get off get off of her. her. <laughs> like, wear this. Act out this. This you got to do this. So. If anything, people should be coming for whoever wrote it versus right. like her as a person because she's just doing her job. It's like she's just trying to make her money and get on out and do that. So I know people coming for her about her statement, but I mean, she's just being real. Like she's an actor, so she just got to do like more Chestnut. He's an actor. He's just doing what they tell him to do. So I think it's it's, it's a hard, it's hard to sway one way for me. Right. I'm on the acting side, and I understand like being in an organization too. Yeah, I agree with that, too. I think that they shouldn't blame the actor. She was just doing her job. And a, a lot of the misunderstanding with a lot of people who are outside the organization comes from just not knowing. So I feel like it's our responsibility as members of these organizations to explain to people in a political and respectful way. Because, you know, some people could be disrespectful, but in a respectful way to be like, this is our brand. This brand is copyright. This brand is patented. 
you can't use it without our permission. And I feel like we should, as organizations, educate people on that so that we don't have issues like this in the future where you're having to, to threaten people with a lawsuit. Like It, it could have been just as simple as a, a, a misunderstanding or a, a misinterpretation of the information that they did while doing research. We have to educate people and let them know what is and isn't correct as far as like using what we've developed as a, a culture. And like you said, too, the authenticity of it. They were trying to portray black culture, which I support that. But in them trying to do it, do you think maybe they went too far? Or do you think that people in these organizations kind of went too far about it? Honestly, I feel like these days it's people. You know, we live in a sensitive, a sensitive world. You really can't do nothing. You can't say too much about anything. I feel like it's us and our organizations that, oh, they should do this. They should do that. Now, I do, like I said, if I seen, like, if it was a random person not acting in my letters or in somebody else's letters, that's when I'm like, okay, now, come on now. But, like, when it's acting, I kind of give it a pass. But also, at the same time, it, it's, it's still a weird situation. But I'm more lenient when it's acting. But I guess my question is, what, like, where do we figure out what the actual problem is? Is the problem that our organiz, like, uh, NPAC organization is in the actual show, or is the problem that the person is portraying the organization? I so think their problem would it is be different if they had Molly, which right? Is actually, right. They wear it and portray that, or is it the fact that it's actually in the show? That's what I was thinking. Would they feel better if it was an actual AKA? portraying that just like when you have solely totally random but i'm thinking about this as well just like when you have people who are like american playing british or british playing american why not just get those people in those roles or in in that background to just do those parts and i i can't really answer that question i don't know why they don't do those things but i understand the frustration behind it and i also understand that people do tend to become a little easily offended mm-hmm, mm-hmm. especially yeah, I mean, with and, old organizations like and like and like you said earlier you know like you you have a sense of like once you once you go through the process and you you're able to wear your letters you you kind of understand like what it took to be able to wear those letters you understand like you know i i just didn't sign a piece of paper and be like oh i'm in this organization i didn't go to a org fair and like hey i want to join right I me up. I could wear these tomorrow. Like you I had to pay money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still paying money. <laughs> to wear it, so uh, I can understand where, like, if someone were to see someone wearing their letters, even on a show, it's like, well, if that person get to wear some nail yet, that's real, and didn't even get to have to go through the process, even though it's acting. They still get to wear those letters and portray that organization, even though they didn't have to pay go through a process so I can understand that standpoint too of just the actual feeling of having that having to go through that to wear the letters so I, I see both sides but I'm, I'm a little lenient towards the actors <laughs> I, I just I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little lenient towards the actors but I, I, I definitely understand the, the viewpoint of it. I think it's just your personality. Why aren't you angry? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't that cool call. You are. So, this is but, great because you literally get like the fiery side, which is me, because I, I literally had this conversation a while ago about how I'm more confrontational than I used to be. <laughs> <laughs> and Corey's always, well, since I've known him. Used to be, so you ain't never been I used to be like, oh, it's okay. Like I, I used to like guard what I was thinking more, and now I'm just like, nah, you should know. Like I'm, I'm not even gonna lose sleep over how I can nicely tell you this. So, right, right. but you've been a laid back person you're, th- since I've known you. So yeah, yeah, yeah. this is no surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a hard, it's a tricky topic because I've been looking at um. I think they posted on Watch the Yard, so I was looking at some of those responses, and some people like it's okay, it's that, and some people like no, it's not. So it's like it's it's one of those situations where it's hard to pinpoint like if it's actually wrong, wrong, and it's hard to pinpoint if it's actually right to do. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. I don't think it's I like like I said with the actor, I don't think she's in the wrong. I do not fault her. I think she's just doing what she was told to do. And then with the the show people or the showrunners, I think they should take a little more responsibility for not 
if they didn't for not requesting permission prior to. And then it could. And I did see where um, someone commented, I think it was on Twitter, and Issa responded to her. And she mm-hmm. was like, oh, it's the HBO to take the show down. Like, I feel like that was sarcasm instead of like saying like, oh, we got approval, so it's all good or something like that. It was more so like, oh, it just don't, don't worry about it. So I think yeah. if, if maybe if she would have responded a little bit more with some backup facts, like, oh, yeah, we mm-hmm. got approved by AKs and we, we, you know, got approved to do this. But the fact that she was like, oh, let me go call HBO to tell them to cancel the season. It's like, she don't really care. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That would be the vibe I would receive from that as well. Which, again, yeah. if it was something as close, something that was done behind closed doors, you could still take the stance of we took the necessary, you know, steps in order to do this. Y'all take it up with y'all's headquarters, you know? Right. <laughs> like, don't be mad. <laughs> and then headquarters would be like, all right, y'all. <laughs> right, right, right. Like, they could be like, yeah, we ain't told them they could do it. Or they could be like, yeah, we, we had a talk. We said they could. But I yeah. feel like a statement should be released if that happened. I, from what I read recently, I don't think that there was one stating that they were given permission Y'all let us know in the comments if y'all have any updates. But I don't think I saw anything related to them getting or providing permission for that. Gotcha. Some people are a little more guarded about their branding, which we should be in general about things that are ours. But I believe Alpha Kappa Alpha, uh, just like any of the other sororities, when it comes to their brand, they're very protective of it. And I don't see them giving permission for something like that for for a a show. And then to, to back it up, I mean, I feel like, a lot of people don't realize that our organizations take these things seriously. So that's mm-hmm. why, like, some people might not know, but that's why, like, only certain nail your companies can mm-hmm. buy a nail. Like, well, anybody- think of what happened with uh, Sorority. What was that show that was on VH1? It was a reality show yeah, yeah. with real life. Sorority for- sisters. HQ shut that down. <laughs> Everyone's HQ was like, no. And those are actual people that were in the organization. It, it, if you don't seek permission, it seems like the stance is we take that seriously. So I feel like I wonder if it's maybe maybe this is it. I think this is where I stand on this now that we said it. So if it was a show that came out and it was called Fraternity Brothers and then they had Sigmas and stuff like that and they was doing solely fraternity stuff, then mm-hmm. I'd be like, mm. but if I just happen to watch a show, and it have nothing to do with fraternity and sorority life, and the dude just happened to be a Sigma and just walking around, okay, I'm cool with that. But if it was a movie that was actually portraying fraternity life and stepping in college and stuff like that, then I probably would be a little more like, eh, what's going on here? But I feel like if it's a show where, you know, they just happen to have it on, they not really stepping, strolling, not really trying to be a part of organization, it just they just have it on, just trying to show that this person's in the org, mm-hmm. that's where I'm a little more lean. I can accept that. <laughs> I'll accept that. Okay. We're we're good on that. I'll accept that. Yeah. I think the general um, notion is for people who want to portray organizations to either get permission or do something similar, For yeah. in my opinion. Like, you don't have to... You can do the colors. I mean, we don't have control over colors. Some of us don't even have control over our hand signs, really. So if you are trying to, like, be as authentic as possible without disrespecting the organization, just get as close as you can without crossing that line. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, I agree with that. You know, I think that's the safest route to take, you know, like, if you want to portray NPHC, just use the colors. Stay away from from the seal and and all that. I agree. Verbiage, all those things. Yep. Because even in Best Man, because I was watching it the other day, I was like, wow, they really like. So two different scenarios on there. They were saying that uh, the two ladies were Deltas. Okay, cool. But they didn't throw the hand sign up for the ladies. They did the uh, the flower on her grave. Sorry, spoiler alert, you guys. They put her flower on her grave for the uh, sorority sister that had passed. But they didn't, you know, say the, uh, I don't think they said the organization for the ladies, but they they didn't use any verbiage. They just kind of hinted to it. Whereas the men on the show, like Morris Chestnut threw up the hook, like, and I don't even know if he did it right in my opinion, but. (laughs) He threw it up like he was in the 
right, right. So, th- and that's a whole thing in itself. Like, you're not in an organization. You're in another organization. You throwing up somebody else's organizational stuff. Uh-uh. So, it's like, you you can get as close as possible to explain the two scenarios, you guys. You can get as close as possible, like, what the women did without actually, you know, indicating it. Or you can be like the men and do the hand sign, use the verbiage, and people will be looking kind of funny at that kind of stuff. So it's a, it's a fine line to touch when you're trying to figure out how to get as close as possible without crossing the line. So the question now is, even if they did use the colors, they're still portraying the organization. So if someone was like, oh, this person is in this organization, they was wearing blue and white, they're going to assume that they're Sigma. If they're wearing pink and green, they're just going to assume that they're an AKA. So it's like, at the end of the day, is it still like portraying or is it like us, like just don't put our seal on it? Because at the end of the day, it's still going to be portrayed as that's the organization. I think if you're trying to emulate that, for me, I think that's Leave fine. Up to the people to interpret Yeah. Yeah, because some people may not know still. So if you could get as close as possible without using the official stuff, I personally am okay with that. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's up to your interpretation at the end of the day. I'm okay with that. But as far as like using the actual logo, the actual (laughs) copyrighted stuff, that's where I would take issue because that ain't your stuff. (laughs) (laughs) That ain't yours. They got to sit in a wardrobe room. Right. Yeah, I I take issue with that, but it's 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 up to everybody's interpretation. I know people are going to go like back and forth about how they feel about it cuz I've heard different sides of it, but really it's it could go either way to be honest. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. I'm, I'm curious to see what the comments gonna say. Oh yeah, y'all. Please be respectful in the comments about what your stance is on everything. Just be nice. <laughs> Yeah, be nice. <laughs> Just be nice. But, Corey, thank you so much for getting on this call with me to talk about this hot topic. It's so good to see you. You know I love you. <laughs> always, always, always. <laughs> and, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out Corey's channel. I will link it in the description box as well as have it somewhere in the video for you guys. But thank you guys so much for watching. And, Corey, I will talk to you soon. All right. Thanks for having me. Bye. Bye.